Hello, my name is uh, Mono Mukundu. I'm a Zimbabwean guitarist and music producer. Today I'm going to be explaining the production process that I followed on um, Japres and Amara Brown Streak uh, Kure Kure, which I produced, I think, that must have been 2015 or 2016. Um, the first thing that we did was um, to get the tempo right. So they came to the studio without the song, I mean, without writing anything. So they started writing everything here in the studio. So I remember Japresa was the first one to play his mbira. And um, that's when I got the tempo. This is what he, he played. Yeah, so that was Japresa playing his mbira. So after um, listening to what he was playing, I could tell the song was in 4-4 four, four time and um, I figured out the tempo. So I started the drum programming process. I started with the kick. After we agreed that that was the right tempo, the next thing that I added was the hi-hats. And um, Zimbabwean hi-hats, uh, hi-hats for Zimbabwean music, they are very complicated, so it's very difficult to program them. So every time I always um, use my own loops, I've got my own loops bank and some samples that I created whereby I called in a number of uh, drummers, more than 10 drummers, and they played some high hits loops, some drum fills, some drum patterns like seven and um, seven that you use for for, for, for rumba. Because sometimes those are, the, the, those styles are very difficult to program. So you end up if you try to program them 100% using the machines, you end up losing the live the, the, the that live feel. So. On the next thing that I added after the kick was the high hits, and this is how it sounded. Okay, after the high hits, the next thing that I added was the percussion, the goma, and the shakers. Again, it's loops that I created uh, with a um, proper life percussionist. Yeah. So after um, after combining the drums and the percussion, this is how it sounds. So after the drums and percussion, um, Amara had figured out how to play Hembira, and uh, this is how she played Hembira. She's a very good Hembira player. So after that, that time I was working with a bass player by the name of uh, Solomon Bill Sunguru. He was my assistant uh, producer and the assistant engineer. So he's the one who did the bass and it went like this. Yeah, I wanted to keep everything very simple and um, you played a really nice uh, bass warping of them. Then the next thing that um, we added is uh, the rhythm guitar. This is how I played the rhythm guitar. As you can tell, I was sort of like harmonizing the bass guitar and then after a few lines I was moving away from the bass guitar lines and uh, 
playing something different. Then the next thing that we added was the organ and um, we added the organ and um, yeah, so this is the organ with the bass. <laughs> Can tell everything was played very simple. We wanted to keep the song very, very simple. After the organ, the next thing that we added was the flute. Obviously, we're playing the keyboard. Um, I can't play the flute. <laughs> So after um, all the other instruments were added, uh, the next thing that was remaining was the vocals and uh, the lead guitar. And I always want to play the lead guitar last because I don't want it to clash with the, with the, with the vocals. So here's how the vocals sounded. After the um, after the vocals, after we did all the vocals, that is when I started um, creating my my own lead, lead guitar. Um, uh, yeah, that's how I played it. It was in the key of C, so this is what I played on the song. That's the favorite part of um, that's my favorite part of the guitar line. I really love that part. So after um, playing everything, after all the vocals were, were done, we decided we needed to create the intro. Usually during recording, the things that are at the beginning are the things that you do last. Just like on this song, after we had laid down everything, all the vocals, all the other instruments, we, decide, we then decided we needed to create an intro. So we decided to create a very simple intro as well. So this is how it goes. <laughs> So the intro was very simple, very simple and straightforward and uh, the first few seconds after the very beginning of the intro we just added uh, the bass guitar and the rhythm guitar that was harmonized in the bass and um, after a few seconds everything came into the song and uh, the song became a huge hit. Oh, and so, um, that's how I produced the track and uh, see you on the next episode.